Two Ukrainian soldiers wounded in the war against their country arrived at Newark Airport for medical treatment. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch reports they are here for only a short time and will then head back home and back to war. Wounded Ukrainian soldier Anton Domaratsky shouts, Glory to Ukraine. The crowd waiting to greet him and fellow soldier Viktor Nestorenko respond, Glory to heroes. The gathering of supporters, a surprise for both men to warmly welcome them to the U.S. with hugs, flowers, cards, and song. He said that it was uh, so emotional for him to see uh, let, uh, that crowd of people, but uh, uh, he feels very happy. Their arrival at Terminal B at Newark International Airport, progress toward restoring some of what the men lost defending their country. Both are amputees. The organization, Kind Deeds, flew them to America to get fitted for prosthetics and rehabilitation. Founder Alexander Rupsov shares these are the first two soldiers the nonprofit has helped. He wants to help many more Ukrainians. We hope we start a big project today. He was uh, so emotional, shocked with all the crowd of people he has say, uh, seen here. He will get uh, his treatment here in the U.S. and after that he will return to Ukraine to defend uh, our territory again. Despite everything, these soldiers have witnessed and endured both will return to Ukraine and continue the fight for freedom. Uh, it's so emotional for me seeing uh, them coming here to rehabilitation. I have two brothers who defend Ukraine right now and I, I can feel all of this emotion every day. I know we got this, we will not give up. As the crowd gathered round curbside for a final show of support, Victor Hale, glory to Ukraine. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. Anton and Victor will return to Ukraine in about a month. Until then, they're staying with a host family in Brooklyn. Here's a photo of them settling in just this evening. Wonderful piece by a wonderful lady, Vanessa Murdoch. She's here with another check on the forecast. What a fascinating interview. I know. It was it's truly amazing to know that these men now want to go back yeah. in just a few weeks and continue fighting. It shows the courage, the tenacity of the yes. people there. Yeah. And the crowd was moved to tears by their presence. I can only imagine.